Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Jordan Young, AKA Sneakonomics. And today we are looking back at the week that was in sneakers and a look ahead to the week that may well be. If you like sneaker content, whether it is sneaker news, reviews, commentary, or comedy, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't wanna do either of those things, that's absolutely fine. As far as I'm concerned, you can piss off. No, 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 I'm only joking, but not really. First of all, let's talk about some of the sneakers that released this week. And the most notable release is probably these, the Jordan 1 High OG True Blue. Now, if you weren't already convinced that Jordan 1 Hype is dead, this recent release will no doubt cement it for you. We are no longer living in an age where every Jordan 1 High Retro is selling out. These have certifiably bricked, and I don't mean that in a pejorative sense because these are a really nice looking shoe with very strong color blocking. You can imagine that if this shoe had come out two or three years ago, these would have been an instant sellout and they would be reselling for two or three times the retail price. But because we are no longer in amongst the Jordan 1 frenzy, these have sat and are an easy cop if you wanted to add them to your rotation or collection. Me personally, I passed, but what did you guys do? Did you guys pick up a pair of these and are you feeling them? The other big Nike release here in the UK were the Terminator Highs in the Noble Green colorway and these are also pretty much sat in a full size run on the sneakers app. I don't know what you guys think about the Terminator High, but it's a really clean looking shoe. I kind of feel like it's maybe come about at the wrong time because we've been so inundated with 85 basketball sneakers, whether it's the Jordan 1 High or the Low or the Nike Dunk High or Dunk Low. And so another 85 basketball silhouette has probably been sort of crowded out of the market and come about a little bit too late to be really, really popular. Did you guys pick up a pair or have you, like me, passed on them? We're gonna sashay sideways into some sneaker news now and the biggest story of the week was the SneakerCon mystery boxes. I actually made a video addressing this topic specifically yesterday, so if you wanted to check that out, I will link the video up here somewhere. You'll have no doubt seen these viral videos where people are at SneakerCon buying up these mystery boxes for $300 a pop and revealing the contents only to take a huge L on the value of the sneakers that they've ended up buying. Some of the boxes contain sneakers worth much more than 300, but the majority of videos circulating are showing people essentially getting finessed. And that has brought about a lot of negative attention on the sellers of these boxes and has also brought into question SneakerCon's role in facilitating these transactions to take place in the first place. SneakerCon have produced a statement saying that they are developing a position on the matter. The seller of the boxes has come out and tried to defend himself against all of the negative content that's currently permeating sneaker social media. And it really hinges on the aspect of gambling, where people are paying money on a gambit to come up. And in a lot of cases, they are taking the L. My own opinion is that they are probably going to sever this relationship with the seller. There'll be no more mystery boxes at SneakerCon and everybody can just move on. But it's a big story and make sure that you are subscribed and following me on my other social medias where I can keep you guys up updated with the situation as it develops. The other big story of the week was a bit of an unfortunate one. A poor kid, 16 years of age, got beaten unconscious and robbed of his Jordan 1 lost and founds by a gang of absolute ass clowns. Their pictures are over social media. They will no doubt momentarily be brought to justice. What has been nice to see though online is an outpouring of support for the kid with a lot of people offering to replace the sneakers. A lot of the community has been sort of rallying together to try to make sure that the kid is looked after. And I think that's one of the cool things about the sneaker community. And I guess just remember guys, it, they're only kicks. If someone really wants to inflict some physical harm on you over some kicks, just give them the kicks, man. Like it's not worth your health, but stay safe out there. Some clickbait content that has been doing the rounds is the potential collab between John Geiger and Kanye West. You guys might've seen these John Geiger slides that bear a sort of similar resemblance to the now famous Yeezy slides. I kind of feel like at this point, if any slide comes out that has any of these kind of tonal colors, people are automatically going to point at Ye as being the inspiration. Like Ye has basically created a monopoly in terms of intellectual property ownership over all slides. I don't think this is the case. I think what's more likely is that John Geiger has basically just stolen the designs again like he did with Nike and the Air Force Ones. What do you guys think? Do you, are you guys feeling these John Geiger? Like, 
actually, does anyone mess with John Geiger? Are you, any of you guys into John Geiger stuff? Like I'm really not. We're gonna segue now into some first looks and some on foot looks and talk about some upcoming exciting sneakers. We're gonna start off with the Jordan 4 Thunder. We've had some pretty good images to take a look at. And I don't know how you guys feel about the Jordan 4 Thunder, but it's a cool pair. Uh, I've had the pair, I think twice over uh, in my time. It wasn't a hard pair to cop back in 2012. Uh, but these images look pretty cool. They look pretty clean. The only thing I'm not overly sold on, and maybe you guys can tell me how you feel about these, is the white stitching. Uh, on the midsole attaching the sneaker around the front of the toe box. I'm not sure I'm overly keen on that sort of contrast white stitching. I'm not sure what motivated them to do that. Uh, it just seems like a bit of unnecessary contrast on a sneaker that already relies on the black contrasted with the yellow. To add another subtle contrast to me just sort of throws the sneaker off a little bit. Uh, but the box looks pretty cool. The sneaker looks as you'd expect. And how are you guys feeling about this? Is this a must cop for you? I recently sold my Thunder Fours for like 50 pounds or something because they were really beaten up. So I'm looking to replace the pair that I sold recently. And these are supposed to come out on May the 13th. We also got some first look action at Jason Tatum's uh, first Air Jordan signature shoe. They're called the JT1, funnily enough. And this first colorway we've had a look at are called the Zoo colorway. And first impressions are okay. This sort of like over-exaggerated cage thing going on on the midsole is a little bit out there for my liking, but I guess when it comes to performance basketball sneakers, aesthetics definitely play a sidekick role to performance, which is understandable. And listen, I like Jason Tatum. I think he's got an awesome game. I think, I think they look good. Yeah, I think they look like they would be, be a good court shoe. So let's go through some on foot looks of some pretty exciting sneakers set to come out soon. First up, we've got the Born and Raised SB Dunk Low. These look really, really nice. Uh, it has to be said. They kind of give me a little bit of Eric Costin Jordan 1 Low SB vibes. I don't know if you guys are picking up that same kind of vibe, but they are really, really nice. Lots of really subtle accentuations, tumbled leather, got some navy nubuck. They've got the brands one block at a time, ridden across the toe box, on the turf, and then some special perforations on the toe. It's a very good looking sneaker. Now between these, the Jaritos, Eminem, Run the Jewels, Supreme, it's a stacked stacked year for SBs and as a budding SB collector I'm pretty excited but what do you guys think about these do you guys think these are pretty fire or what the next on foot look we've got are the Jordan 12 Armamanier in the white colorway and I've got to say these are looking pretty tasty the 12 is one of my favorite Jordans it was my first Air Jordan as a young man these look nice man I don't know how you guys are feeling but I like these they're coming out in two different colorways the white pair and the black pair. They're set to come out start of March. Like the 12 is a bit of a polarizing shoe. Some people really love the 12 and some people just couldn't care less about the 12. I feel like it's an underappreciated Jordan model. And so for that reason, you know, I'm in on these, but what do you guys think? We've got an on foot and a really detailed look at the Airship University Gold, which if you're not hip to the knowledge, was the, was the Nike that MJ played in before his signature shoe line got off the ground. And listen, the Airship is a really good looking sneaker, classic 80s basketball. And these look nice in the University Gold colorway. To be fair, if you already have a whole bunch of Jordan ones and you're not deep into the whole collecting thing, these I could see being a pretty easy pass, but they are looking pretty good from these detailed pictures quality looks good nice colorway this is a pair that if these went on sale i would definitely cop these on sale right so let's move into some of this week's upcoming sneaker releases that you might be interested in starting off on the nike sneakers app the first pair we've got is on tuesday it's a pair of air force ones the slam jams now at first glance these look like just all black air force ones and when you actually get up close and personal with them, you'll find that they are pretty much just all black 
Air Force Ones. The only difference is they are priced a lot more heftily than your average run of the mill all black Air Force Ones, but that's because they feature a bit better leather, some subtle suede detailing on the eyelets and the heel, double laces, and you get an upside down Nike Air for your money. On Thursday, you've got a murdered out pair of the Air Max Scorpions, and this basically marks the end of the honeymoon period for the Air Max Scorpion. I don't know if you guys know this, but once an all black colorway adorns the upper of any particular new model, that model is now no longer new. You can almost call the application of the black colorway the end of the beginning. The novelty of that sneaker is now gone. Soon as they touch it with the all black, it's now a normal shoe. This is another pair that I'll be passing on. If these weren't priced so high, I'd probably have a go with them, but because they're 225 pounds, it's a pass. Also on Thursday, you have the release of the Nike Dunk Low Year of the Rabbits. This colorway harks back to a very famous Air Force One colorway from 2011, and you can see that marked on the outsole. Uh, it's a nice colorway, really cool looking shoe. I think these will be pretty popular and will no doubt sell out. I can't see them reselling for a crazy amount of money, but this starts to usher in a number of the releases that we're going to see for the Chinese New Year. And there are one or two of them that I'm excited about, especially the Jordan one low, but these are pretty clean. Also on Thursday, you have the women's Jordan 5, the Dunk on Mars. And I've said this before, these look like an off-white and a raging bull got together. I think they're really nice, to be fair, although I'll almost certainly be passing. Women's release, so it's up to a UK 9.5, £190. Yeah, these retro prices are very off-putting, uh, but I would expect these to sell out in the larger sizes and sit long-term in the women's sizes. What do you guys think about these? On Saturday, it's another Jordan 5 release, two Jordan 5 releases in the same week. These are called the Aqua. And listen, it's a nice, clean, simple colorway. You can never really go wrong with a predominantly black upper on a Jordan 5, a la the OG Metallics. These, to me, are pretty meh. They're okay. I might consider picking up a pair of these on sale. If you're wondering whether or not they're going to resell, they are not. These are going to be your proverbial cinder blocks, no offense intended. If you're a Jordan 5 collector, obviously they're a no-brainer, but I can't see these being difficult at all to procure, and I personally will be passing. As for you guys over there in the USA, it's a pretty quiet week, to be fair, from what I can see. There are some Panda restocks if you are about that life. Uh, January the 19th, you've got a Panda restock in both the low and the high. There are some dunks, you know, another day, another dunk. You also have the Slam Jam Air Force Ones coming out as well on Jan the 17th, but in all honesty, it's a pretty weak lineup for the next week or two. I really think Feb is when we are going to start seeing an influx of heat. And so it's probably worth your while just consolidating your finances and whetting your appetites because once January is over, we are going to be into heat season and it's gonna come thick and fast. So make sure you guys are tuned in, ready for some updates when they come around. And so that's it, boys and girls. Thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a lovely week upcoming. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of the video and which sneakers you are looking forward to potentially copying. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button. We're looking to hit 100,000 subscribers, maybe by the end of next month, who knows? But I just wanna take a little moment to say thank you to all my members and thank you to all of my regular viewers, all of your comments and your likes and your shares and engagement is really appreciated. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. Take care for now and peace.